The Clan Show is back, your one-stop shop for all Clan fans. We've got all your favourite interviews, features, competitions. In fact, we'll start with an interview. Recently, I thought Clan Forward Mike Imbach could do with a break from competing. So I thought he might like to compete on a racetrack instead. We took him to the experience. Have a look at this. You ready? Hey, mate, how you doing? You all right? Good. Ready for a bit of go-karting indoors? Yeah, right. Well, not like you can do go-karting on the street anyway, but, you know, a bit of indoor go-karting. But you can. In the European Union. Under 20 horsepower, headlights, taillights, and a horn. You can ride it. That's all you need. You can. Yeah. You know a lot about go karting. A little bit. Okay, this should be interesting. Cheers, that, Mike. Let's do it. After you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Hi, I'm Mike Embach. I'm number 26 for your Brayhead clan. And I would describe my style of play as a, a small power forward. Yeah, agitating. I like to control the puck down low in the corners and uh, be hard to play against. Jerry four, make one. Can't do this. How'd you get in again, mate? <laughs> Do you remember how to get in? Yep. <laughs> you got me. I never got that bridge sorted at all. I never got that. You're dangerous though, man. Reckless. What, two things I've learned. You're dangerous and I need to lose some weight. <laughs> First, got me. Yeah. Okay, look how close it was though. Oh, look at that. Nothing in it. Wow. Kind of wish we'd gone for a nickname now. Yeah, no kidding. Kind of gone for hot stacks. Spe speedy murder. <laughs> that was awesome. I'll hang that one up and hold on the yeah, fridge. You keep your one. <laughs> well done. Good game. <laughs> okay, well, you, you did pretty well there. I've got to hand it to you. I think you maybe just about took that. It was a bit, bit, pretty big about, crash over there. Just though. about. Yeah, pretty big crash over in the corner, though. That was brutal. Yeah, that was right when I got first place. So I had to try and right. hold the position, and uh, we right. both spun out, but I came out. Came out on top. Well, you can tell with your reckless disregard to driving that you, you're obviously a hockey player. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting when, when we do interviews with the guys, and it's always interesting. People come from Canada. You ask them how they got into to hockey. They're like, "Well, I'm Canadian." But you're, you're from Illinois yourself. Yep. It's not necessarily the first sport no, in America. How did you get I, into uh, hockey? When I grew up, too, the Blackhawks weren't very good, so it wasn't right. the most popular thing. But uh, my dad actually played in high school for one year and kind of got me into it when I was. Four, he took me to a Blackhawks game and I went to a place called Chelly's Chili, Chris Chelios owns, and uh, met Jocelyn Lemieux, who's the lesser known brother. Uh, I hope he's not, he ever sees this, but lesser he known might brother. See this. Uh, he just called you the other Lemieux. Well, Claude Lemieux <laughs> is his brother, the one that played for the Colorado Avalanche. Well, he was a day. savage, yeah. right? But he was number 26. I met him, he signed my uh, jersey and stuff, so that's still to this day why I wear 26. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Interesting little thing. But yeah, and then uh, they wouldn't let me play hockey until I learned how to skate, so I did. Uh, Figure skating for a year, which was interesting because no pucks or sticks. And wow. then started playing when I was five and just kind of stuck with it. It was, I mean, I played golf, I played basketball, I played baseball, soccer, all of them, but hockey was the one that stuck in golf. That, no, it's been an interesting one for you then as well because after that, then you went down the kind of college route as well. Yeah. What, can you tell us a little bit about the town you were from first and, and then why that led to down that college route? What was the town like that you were from? Uh, Orland Park. It's, there's, it's the world, uh, world's golf capital, they call it. Actually, they say there's tons oh. of golf courses there too, but uh, I lived like five minutes from the rink and growing up, I kind of, I was a rink rat. I was just always around there. And I was fortunate I got to start playing. They had to change the rules now where you weren't allowed to play up with older kids, but when I was playing, my dad had me playing spring, summer, fall, before everyone even did that, like before it was a full-time thing. So I got to play against older kids and I think kind of helped me 
help me develop because with that rink being right there, there's so many teams and options still. So it's yeah. good. You, you know, when the team first came in, actually, uh, uh, I remember you, you came up to me pretty early doors and you were like going, I've seen some of the interviews you're and I'm well up for doing these things. Yeah. I'm usually the organizer. I usually get stuff organized for the teams. It's great that yeah. you guys are here. Was that where you got it from, being in that kind of college environment, that system? Was yeah. were you always the organizer? Is that where that came from? I don't know how. I, I kind of fell into the role, I guess you'd say. Like in the last four years when I've been in Fort Wayne, I was the fine fund master. So I was in charge of collecting all the money and doing right. all the fines. and just kind of social captain, I guess you'd say, just because I was the guy to go out in the or into the, the city and just meet people and talk to us things. So kind of just work that way. Like, oh. oh, hey, we get this guy tickets. They're going to let us come in and, you know, hang out for the day or do go-karting, something cool like this. So You're kinda, like Morgan Freeman in yeah. the Shawshank Redemption. You oh, can, just, you're the guy that can get you things. Barter, Sims, barter <laughs> system. <laughs> Who's the fine master at Clan at the moment? Barry. Oh, is Barry doing it? Yeah, Bearcat. Oh, wow, interesting. Yeah, I haven't seen any of it. He'll probably pay his bills with it. <laughs> well, we'll find out about that when we interview Barry then. <laughs> so then you go through that system and things go well as well because you go, you jumped straight from there into the AHL, didn't you? Yeah, I got um, my senior year, I led the nation NCAA in scoring and shorthanded goals. So that was oh. my like claim to fame. I got a plaque, a nice marble plaque out of that, and they kind of called me up. I went to Texas in the American League, one of the coolest experiences I've had. And so why was shorthanded goals like your thing then? What happened that year? Were you just, I don't know. I still love playing. I don't, on penalty kill, if you watch, you're a commentator, you're a yep. spectator, you know, you see guys get kind of lackadaisical on the power play. Yeah. You're just, you have an extra guy, you just expect things to work. And I feel like, I don't want to say it's easier to score when you got one less guy, because it's not, but guys don't come at you as hard. They just, they expect someone else to do it. So back in college, that was kind of my coach's things. Like, I don't want you turning pucks over or making too many moves in five on five, but shorthanded, as long as you get the puck out of the zone, do whatever you want once it's out of our end. So wow. I kind of would not mess around, but basically just try and bait guys into it and go and then end up working. I should wow. have had six too. I hit the post in Ohio State. I'll never forget that. So you could have been even more that guy. Yeah. That would have been amazing. Well, that was the fairest record. I wanted to try and get it. I never got it. Oh, fantastic. And then obviously you get other chances at the AHL as well. But interesting enough, you then make that choice to make the move over to Europe. Mm -hmm. And it was Sweden as well and the yeah. Alsvenska as well. That's a really interesting move as well. And obviously like another high standard of hockey as well. Yeah, it's a really uh, good league. How did that move come about? Um, just after, I mean, I don't want to say like I proved what I thought I could and I'd gotten my chances in the American League and never got to like become a full-time guy. You know, there's so many draft picks and scouts don't want to look like they made the mistakes. So they're going to give these guys every opportunity. So you really got to, being like an undrafted free agent coming into it, it's really hard to make it. Yeah. So at that point I thought, okay, if my NHL chances seem slim, I might as well go experience the world and get paid to do it. It's the coolest job ever, the fact that you can go basically almost anywhere in the world and yeah. still be able to play or find a league somewhere. So. And how's your Swedish now? Uh, Toxic Maquette, thank you very much. Other than that, There you not go, much. hey? Toxic Maquette. Toxic Maquette. We're all learning about Swedish now as yeah. well. So, and then tell us a little bit about the Brehead clan move, because you actually kind of, essentially, you said you were looking at the roster before you signed, yeah. and you recognized a couple of names on it and as well. I didn't well. know how until uh, Peaks and I were road roommates staying in You recognized Tome. Peacock's name? Yeah, and when he ended up, he was over in the States playing midget minor hockey when I was playing back home too in Chicago, and we ended up, I think he was in Florida, we played against each other. So I just kind of remembered the name and like, how do I know that? How do I know it? until we put it together? Pretty cool. I suppose Peacock is a name, I guess, that would stand out, I guess, yeah. on a roster. Well, I and like a British guy, because back then it's usually locals. They don't. Yeah. I mean, we were very rare where I played the Chicago Chill. My coach, Anders Sorensen, he's uh, now the, what do you want to call him? Skills development coach with the Blackhawks. Yeah. And he was from Sweden. So that's kind of was part of it when me going to Sweden. He had a lot of contacts and kind of helped me do that. But he brought two Swede guys, Swedish guys over. So those were like the only Euros I'd ever seen at that point <laughs> playing in North America at that level. And then I just remembered like a British guy that that kind of stuck out to me. And so what was interesting when you were first contacted about Brayhead Clan then, what was the, what was the pitch that was sent to you and, and who first got in contact? Uh, well, Gareth actually Facebook friended me probably seven years ago trying to get me to come over to Europe or whatever. I don't, right. I don't even know where it was now. I can't remember. So I'd already been friends with them and I, I got my master's on like I mentioned. So the league, like the draw for the school thing was kind of nice, but I knew I didn't really want to do that again. I, I, been there, done that. Yeah. So uh, just talking to him, I mean, the city's awesome, and I'd heard good things about, you know, the big five in the league, whatever, Nottingham, Sheffield, Belfast, Cardiff, here. Yeah. So that was, that was a good job for me. That's Obviously, at first, I wanted to, my folks were trying to get a Champions League team and whatever, and was talking to them, but then with what we were doing here and talking to Tripper, it seemed like a good idea. No, it's certainly starting to work out as it's well. It's starting to work out. We're yeah. going there. We're going in the right direction. So how, how's it been? Obviously, it's been a difficult start to the season, being out of the rink a lot as well. Yeah. How, how do you see it going? But it, I mean, we had some great results as well early on as well against Manchester, some good performance against Milton Keynes as well. Yeah. How do you feel like the vibe is in the room at the moment? Right now, it's going the right direction. I mean, yeah. we, we've had a lot of conversations, a lot of video, uh, a lot of video uh, <laughs> and a lot of just, you know, trying to figure out what our identity is. And I think we're finally going in the right direction with 
what we want to do. Still trying to simplify it and get her to some of the little things that staying strong mentally too. We gotta can't yeah. let those lapses happen, but it's going good. Well, if it's anything like the way you drive go karts, I'm sure you'll throw everything into it. Yeah. Thanks, thanks very sure. much, Mike. Let's Absolutely. get out of here because we're dressed rather weirdly. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I might keep these on. Balac let's, baklava? How do you let's say Let's keep it? these on. Baklava. Yeah, no, baklava <laughs> will do. Tax my cap. Whatever. Tax my cat. Tax my cat. Well, there you go. Quite a revealing interview there. We learned quite a lot. Mainly, never drive with Mike Mbach. Far too dangerous. Right, okay, time for a little bit of hockey action now. Here is your clan show goal of the month. Kick them off, Brooks. And it went wide. Once again, the clan line one up for Tommy. Four pucks. Wonderful sweep and move, Brendan Brooks with the finish. Another power play goal from the clan. 35 seconds from the end of the first period. Brendan Brooks makes it 3 1. Beautiful play on the power play for the Brayhead clan. Wonderful movement, quick down low, back just to the bottom of that right hand circle. Beautiful one timer, and there's the power. And the Wheatman had no chances of going past him there. Clan 3, Lightning 1. There you are, a fantastic power play goal there from BB Brendan Brooks here at Brayhead Arena against the Milton Keynes Lightning, a fantastic game there. However, not everyone was able to take in that game. In fact, it came to my attention that one particular fan has been missing his hockey after recovering from some pretty serious surgery. So, I sent round Barry McKenzie and Tyler Schofield with his season ticket to re-watch the game with them. Hey George, how are you getting on? I'm getting better, I'm improving. We heard you weren't feeling well, so we we'll popped out to see you this afternoon. And we brought uh, your season ticket with us. Something I really appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come in? Yeah, yeah definitely. Sure. Can I just say? Oh yeah, nice to meet nice you. To you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And you, Tyler. Go for yeah. it. Thank you. Okay. I'd like to take a seat, please. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Right. I really appreciate you bringing over my season ticket. You know, I'm looking forward to going back to the games. So Actually, I'm just about to watch a game. Right. Uh, how do you feel about watching the game? Yeah, yeah that sounds good. Well, how about a cup of tea, a cup of coffee? I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it. Thanks, I'm okay. going to make it. I've already watched the game anyway, so I'll, go and I'll let you just watch okay. the game. Well, thanks, thanks, thanks very much. <laughs> Perfect. Cups. So how have you been feeling recently? Uh, I'm just back out of hospital again, and uh, I've seen the, the surgeon. So I'm hoping that uh, within the next two or three weeks, I'll be able to get back to Brayhead. Oh, good. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, it'll be nice to have you there. Yeah. You've been a season ticket holder for a while? I've been a season ticket holder for over four years. Uh, I enjoy uh, coming to the games, I enjoy the atmosphere. Uh, and it's, Brayhead has a specific form of atmosphere. Yeah. It's really, really good. Yeah, no, and of good. course, uh, and the fact that the clan, generally speaking, are playing well. I know, you know? for sure. We'll, we're we're going to get back to that too. I'm most certain that you will, you know. Uh, it's something, I mean, the dramatic change. I mean, a new manager, a lot of new players. There's been a lot of change. And it takes some time just to to get this to bond together in a way that will be beneficial not only for the club but for the people who support the clan because they do expect a lot. Yeah, and we definitely appreciate you know our loyal fans like yourself and um, it, it's, it's been tough but like I said I, I feel like we're going to get back on track here and we're looking forward to getting you back in that rink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm certainly looking forward to it. It's the one thing that I, I have missed greatly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, although I've been listening to the, the webcast. Not quite the same as being in the ring, but it's, it's good. It's good to have. It's, it's a, an acceptable substitute, <laughs> yeah. you know? Because at least you, you, you have a part of the atmosphere. Yeah. But, uh, and when you have, you know, the likes of the commentators mm -hmm. who can get quite involved in mm -hmm. the game, that, in fact, does happen to, you know, lend to the general atmosphere yeah. of particularly of enjoying the game, although you can't actually see it. Yeah. Oh, yes. We'll just stick on the game and we can watch together. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Well, an elite league first.
over the same period. Sorted fellas. Yeah, yeah, thank you. If you want a good chocolate watch, take yeah. a look at Jerry on the TV with that microphone. Oh, for goodness sake, Jerry. But yeah, if we want summers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is our first goal. I don't think you knew too much about it. Man, still on the ascendancy. Boots on your tongue. Boots on your Yes. <laughs> Pretty sure that was the goal they said it was Jordan. Uh, yeah, was. Jordan was sitting next to me on the bench. It's a big celebration for that. Yeah, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a nice goal. Yeah. 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 You know, I have watched the, the, the games made in webcasts. Yeah, yeah. You know? And. Uh, I've always had the, the opinion about net minds is about goalies. Yeah, right. You know? And the way I see it, Ryan Knight is a very good keeper. He is a very good goalie, yeah. You know? Uh, I mean, we see him every day practicing, he's very, very good. Yeah. Just don't think we've been really helped on that much this year. No. Well, it's, it's, it's a no win position, isn't it? Of course yeah. it is, yeah. <laughs> it's a, yeah. yeah. It's an easy blame. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes as well, when you've got a really good goalie behind you, you kind of take, take it, take it, yeah, take, take it for granted sometimes. Yeah, and yeah. It's a tough yeah. spot, especially where the, you, you've got a really good goalie, yeah, and your, your defence has got to be strong as well. Yeah, of course it do. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, now, how do you feel about actually going back? You know, a forward like yeah, yourself, yeah. going back to actually help in defence, you probably do. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Especially, I, I, myself and Woody kill a lot of penalties, so it's quite a defensive role, yeah. so I, I actually quite like it. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, because it, obviously it makes you then react as a team. Of yeah. course it does. It tends to blend it together. Yeah. That's the thing, sometimes with myself and Woody, we don't get like really recognition, because we don't score goals, but we do different it's things just to big, help the teams. It's just the biggest part is anything else. Yeah. yeah. You well, can't have one without the other. Yeah. Here's a fight. Here's Doty's fight. Oh. Nickerson started fighting him and Doty didn't even have his glove off. He's just catching his breath. Yeah. Oh, he definitely won that one. Yes, he did. He did. Tough boy. Yeah. Bad celebration, <laughs> but a tough kid. <laughs> it's the one thing I'll be, I'll, I'll really be glad to get back. Oh, I you bet, know, yeah. I've, I've missed it. It's tremendous. <coughs> yeah. Just the atmosphere, isn't it? Well, it's the atmosphere, it's the game. Yeah. It's, that's a brilliant goal. That was a really good goal by them. That was a brilliant goal. Could have to give them that, don't we? <laughs> You don't like to, but yeah. 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 You go by yourself to the games? Yes. Is there a bunch of people you know that sit oh, around? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're a section editor for sure, aren't you? <laughs> oh no. No? No, 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 no. no. Uh, I'm in the I'm in the Platinum Club. Oh right, okay. okay. That was okay. unlucky. That was unlucky. That was unlucky. Pushed it off his leg. Off his leg and back in. Yeah. Oof. That was a yeah, here's, here's the second one, yeah. Fair play to their captain for fighting though. Oh, I know. <laughs> Fair play, him. I wouldn't have thought Doty. Oh, I know. Fair play, I wouldn't have thought You know, it's something I've always wondered, uh, see like the five games, Yes. how kind of special are these to, to you as a player? Okay, is, that a, is that a different game or is it just another game? Oh, it's, uh, it's a different, it's different game. The boys who have been like, the British boys were here last year or the year before, like we try and 
get into them for us, like, so they can, like, fight, fight, fight. Mate, how yeah. you doing? Yeah, because yeah. so, it is big for the support from oh, the yeah. fan support. Oh, yeah. It's a, you know, it's a very significant oh, game. Yeah, definitely. So what exactly did you have done? Uh, I had a triple bypass and a replacement of the aortic valve in my heart. Oh, holy moly. You know, so it was it was quite a, you know, a quite a significant operation. I got three, I got four stitches. I was feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got Sack to say, it up. <laughs> Sack it up. it's the recovery time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, at the moment, I go to the rehab clinic. Right. Where we are doing aerobics. All oh, right. <laughs> and circuit training. Very nice. <laughs> we do circuit training too. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more intense than what I'm doing. <laughs> you know? <I'll> Pledge <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks for coming over, guys. You're very welcome, George. But, uh, yeah, thanks for having us. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for yes. the tea, and we're looking forward to having yes. you back in the rink in a few weeks. Yes, not as much well. as I am. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I bet. Get well oh. soon. All right, okay, perfect. Okay. See you later. Thank you. Thanks yeah. very much. Okay, take care. Great stuff there. Thank you very much, George, for looking after the boys. Also good to know that Barry McKenzie can make a cup of tea eventually if it's really needed. Hope to see you back at the rink very soon, George. Right, OK, now it's time for the return of the 10 roster questions. A first player in the hot seat is Langdon Oslansky. It's not easy, the 10 roster questions. Here's what he had to say. OK, it's 10 roster questions time. The return of the 10 roster questions. I've got Landon Oslansky with me. Are you ready, Oz, for your 10 roster yeah. questions? <clears throat> you feeling it? You yeah. feeling nervous? Yeah. No, no, I'm not nervous. So I'm good. First question, though. Best skater? Uh, Mike Embach. Mike Embach. Is that just because he's your roommate? Yeah. Or Adam Brace. OK, well, there you are. That's probably more honest. OK, uh, best hands, best skills? Uh, Tyler Shattuck. He's got the skills, has he? Yeah, he's got great mitts. Oh, there you go. Okay, toughest guy. Tough one here. Uh, Doughty. You're going for Doughty. Fair enough. Smartest player. Who's the smartest guy in the team? Smartest player? Yeah. Uh, you can take, I can be hockey smarts or it can be just genuine smarts. Who do you think? Uh, Bill Nye. Oh, Bill Nye, the goalie Mike, guy. Mike Embach. Yeah, Mike Embach. No, yeah. yeah, Bill Nye, the science guy. Yeah, he's yeah, got, he's got yeah. the smarts, yeah. is he? Oh, he's yeah. the schooling kid, is he? Yeah. He's done all his schooling yeah. already. Okay, who's, who's the best chirper? Uh, the best chirper is <laughs> probably... Has anyone got that little bit, of, little bit of extra sting in their chirp from the bench? Cameron Burt. Cameron Burt, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is he, is he noisy on the ice or is he from the bench kind uh, of guy as well? Yeah. Just, all the time. Just give it to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> that can make sense. Okay, most influential on the roster. Who do you think is most influential? Uh, Craig Sescon. Yeah? Why is that? Because he's just uh, an animal. You like the strong yeah. silent yeah. animal yeah. types, yeah. do yeah. you? silent animal. We're learning a lot about you here, man. Okay, <laughs> worst music taste? Uh, Barry. Barry, what yeah. kind of music's he into? <laughs> what is he like? Opera. Really? Yeah. I thought he likes a lot of country stuff now. No, I thought he's been influenced no, by a lot opera. of the guys. Yeah. And he tries to sing it too. It's wow. Yeah. Big Bad Barry, the opera yeah. singer. Oh my goodness. We're learning loads here. Okay. Uh, funniest guy on the roster? Uh, could be Barry too. Doubling down yeah. on Barry McKenzie here. <laughs> wow. He's can, hilarious. He's a big opera singer. I can see yeah. how that would be a good character. That is sounding good. <laughs> okay. And finally, our last, and this is the difficult question. Okay. Question number 10. You're a citizen in a little Wild West town. Yeah. Who would you have as your sheriff and who would you expect to be the villain riding into town? The sheriff. The sheriff would probably be... The sheriff of Oz town. Who would it be? Sascon. Sascon. You like you yeah. seeing something And here. the villain would be Brennan Brooks. Brennan Brooks. <laughs> yeah. Brennan just coming in with like the stubble and the black yeah. hat. Yeah. I can see that happening. Yeah. Right, well done, Oz. You survived your 10 yeah, roster absolutely. questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. It. Sheriff, Sescon and dastardly villain Brendan Brooks, yeah. I can, I can genuinely see them dressing up as that great stuff. Which brings us up nicely, of course, to our fans' pictures and videos section. It was Halloween just last week, so I think you can imagine there may be a certain theme to the pictures in this section. Let's have a look. Let's roll the gallery.
Yeah, so a particularly horrifying picture right at the end there. A lot of speculation as to what I was actually holding in that photograph, I guess. It's just one of those things we'll never know. We'll never know. We should, we should definitely all let it go now. It should, that should be the end of it. Let's, let's let it go. Right, that's almost all we've got time for here on The Clan Show. We do have time, of course, for your competition, though. And we've got a great prize for you. It's a replica jersey signed by the whole team. Fantastic prize. To get your hands on it, all you have to do is answer the following question. When did Mike Embach say that you could drive a go-kart on the roads? Was it A, when it was under 20 horsepower? B, if it was dark and no one was watching? Or C, if you play for the Five Flyers and it's actually your team bus? Okay, so answer those questions. It's Twitter entries only. We need the correct answer. We need at Brayhead Clan. And we also need the link to this show. You need all three of those elements to be included in the draw. Good luck with that. That's all we've got time for here on The Clan Show. We'll catch you next month. Hey George, how are you getting on? Not too badly. We heard you improving. weren't feeling well, so I've yeah. to see you tonight. That's well, excellent. Cut, we're still tonight. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Still tonight. Cut.